Hello and welcome to the Media Hind Show. It's me, Andrew. It's been a while. Merry Christmas to you all. Hope you enjoyed your Christmas. And today we'll be continuing off in Pokemon Blue. Last time I left you off, we were about to choose what Pokemon I would start with. But today I've decided I'm going to go with Bulbasaur. Good old classic. Bulbasaur, the seed Pokemon. Height 2 foot 4. Weight 15 pounds. Number 1 in the Pokedex. A strange seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and when... My bad. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. So you want the plant Pokemon Bulbasaur? Of course. Or I wouldn't be asking for it. I may sound a little different, but I've got a new microphone and things are going to sound a bit better. Before I was using my camera, yep, nickname. Before I was using my Canon camera for a microphone, but as good as it was, it's just not a microphone. So now, using the Logitech H600, it's pretty good. I also bought a retro, or well, at least got given a retro microphone as well, so I may be using it too. So Bulbasaur's nickname, um, let's go with Poison Ivy, Batman reference, isn't it P.O.A.? Yeah, I'll correct it if it's wrong at some point. Poison Ivy, referencing everything. Bulbasaur's a poison plant, so is Ivy, and then it's reference to Batman, Poison Ivy, the finds. And then Ivy's God, I feel like a genius. And Adam received Charmander. You cheat. So, oh, oh, I went to check my Pokemon. Okay, I'll bow you. So, now let's see. We know he's got Charmander. If you had to chose Charmander, your attacks would have been Scratch and Growl. If you chose Squirtle, it would have been Tackle and Deal Whip. Bulbasaur, Tackle, and Grow. Go Poison Ivy! Now, the first battle, Gary will always choose the same tactic. Growl, 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 Scratch, Growl, Growl, Growl. Basically, somewhat in that order. So, I'm just going to spam Tackle. I think I got the potion in the last episode, so... Oh shit, two scratches. And a critical hit. In my test run on this, this did not happen. Oh shit. I am so screwed. Oh, Growl. Growl, if you didn't know, lowers your attack, meaning attack is going to do less damage every time Growl hits. Oh, it failed. And I missed. I think I'm going to potion up just to be on the safe side. Ah, uh, another growl. It's like... <laughs> I might as well hit you with a pillow, it might do more damage. Now, I could spam growl too, but... Where's the point in that? It's gonna get boring. Growl, growl, growl. I was never a fan of growl at the start. And this is why... Ah, stop hitting me! <laughs> Almost critical, 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 critical. Damn it! Come on, finger crossed, people. Ah, hit it! Woo! That was close. That was too close. Ah, oh, poison ivy grew to level six. Eleven attack, eleven defense, eleven speed, and eleven special. Yay! I defeated Adam. Oh, unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Well, it's what you get for trying to beat me with strategy. I'm unpredictable like the drunken fist. Smell you later. Fuck you too. Let's see. Ivy saw. Whoop, my bad. Poison Ivy. Amazing special as well. We're gonna kick ass. Let's see, um... I guess. 
guess. I guess we head on to Fridian. Ah, battle. A wild Pidgey appeared. Poison Ivy, you can handle this. Now, in first generation, Gust was a normal attack and not a flying attack. Which means it isn't super effective against Bulbasaur. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Bulbasaur, he's probably got the most weaknesses out of the first three Pokemon. I missed. Basically, he's weak to Ice, Fire, Psychic, Bug... Uh... He can take a bit more damage because he's poison from Grind. Um... I think that's everything. Sure, tell me if it's not, or if I'm wrong. And this is... Yeah! 23 experience points. Hello! Now, if you talk to this guy, he'll get a free potion. I've never turned down free potions in this game. I figure for this series too, I might actually point out some glitches, or I may just do them in separate videos. Uh, so for Christmas, I got a couple microphones, tripod for camera. I'm pretty happy. I also got Pokemon Black Heart too. Yeah, uh, it's amazing at the minute. Although I'm not that far in, I only got my third badge. I'm just taking my time and enjoying it. Nothing else you can do. It like a new game. Oh, Ratatouille nearly got me. Oh yeah, Ratatouille fainted. Oh, level seven. Thirteen attack, twelve defense, twelve speed, sixteen. I learned Leech Seed. We got a new attack, folks. Um, let's check in this video a minute. For those of you who don't know, though, I record this in parts, and then just piece it together. So every once in a while I have to check. Um, into the Pokemon Center, Bulbasaur's ready to fall over. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Well, I would expect you to heal it. I've got more good news for the channel as well. We may have a third member to the Media Hounds crew. So when he starts uploading, give him a break. Give him a couple of likes. He will be starting Pokemon Yellow. So that's something to look forward to. In the meantime, you've got me and Adam. Adam's away on Christmas holidays. I'm sort of just mucking about at home. So let's see. Although I'll be away for New Year's. Ratatouille. Poison Ivy can handle this. Now, Bleed Seed is going to be one of my final attacks in Bulbasaur, and I'll explain later when I get the Rascal. It is a pretty hilarious strategy. Let's see, um, this is not going well, it's quite a strong Rattata. So guys, do you have any suggestions on what I should catch in this series? Leave a comment, tell me. I'd love to see. I have a vague idea on what to capture, but... Eh, might as well see what the audience wants. And since the majority of you use over on me, it's your decisions. Right, so... Looking good, take care. No problem, man. Okay, so I have Oak's parcel to deliver. Oh, wrong music. Um, why my old Pokemon seems to like you a lot? Of course, it's me. I am talented. And there's your parcel. Now, the conspiracy behind this parcel is he says it's a custom Pokeball. It is actually the GS ball from the series that holds Salibi. So, Salibi might have been discovered this generation, or at least planned for. I'm probably talking out of my ass though. Data you've got. It's a high tech encyclopedia. Yay, we got our Pokedexes. Pokedexes are pretty good. When you capture a Pokemon, the data goes to them and then you can check it up. 
So them passages we were reading on Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle were actually Pokédex entries. Even though we didn't have one. Oh well. Alright, Gramps, leave it to me. Andrew, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. Oh, your sister is a map. I might have to visit her. Oops. Walk into a wall. And again. Ah, Miss Scary Sister. Give me your map. Thank you. Sayonara. Now not talk to her for the rest of the game. Oh, Betty Pidgey, Pidgey. No, Radata. Tackle attack. Do, 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 do. Tackle it again. No point in Leaf Seed at this point in the game. But it's always good to have a heal move. I wonder if I can catch anything around here. You could always go for an eater run. But what's the point in having two psychic plus the type sweet to psychic? Then again, having an Eukin would be awesome. Again. You should be hoping not to see me. I should probably invest in Pokeballs. Into the Mart I go. Good day, good sir. May I buy some Pokeballs? Ooh, I don't need that many. Uh, this is a sex will do. That way it leaves me free. that leads towards the victory road. What can I run into? Radata! Akona Matata! That's how you're putting up a really good fight. Level 8! Yeah! 14 attack, 14 defense, 14... No, 13 speed, and 18 special. Anyway, guys, I gotta check the video again. And now we start... Looking for our second Pokemon. Uh, let's see... The life of a Pokemon trainer. And who's this book? Spiro. Oh, level 5. And I'm out of here. Reasoning, it's a flying type, it's got pack. I'm screwed if it hit. No point in taking unnecessary risk. Oh, Nido Re no, Niran. Female. Uh, am I tempted? Fuck yes, I am. Beat Seed. Might as well catch it. And lust is the effect of Elite Seed. I sap energy. It's like absorb when it lasts every turn and it's less energy. Mm. Let's see if I can catch it. A Pokeball. Go. I usually have a good nickname for a Nidoran male, Excalibur, but never for a Nido Queen. Yep, um, what can I call you? Uh, um, 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 I'll be back. And now I've come up with a good nickname. E Sabbath, there we go. 
after Queen Elizabeth. Eh, don't care if it's spelled right. Let's check it out. Eight, 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 eight. <laughs> Five eights. Uh, I don't like that. One thing I disliked about Nidoran is that their um, default attack like Growl or Leer are always first, and I always make the mistake of clicking it. Oh well. Let's see. I think I'll leave this video after 20-25 minutes. Uh, we'll hear your Pokemon back to perfect health, would you please? And here we are. I've got a new Pokemon. Now I, I'm gonna warn you, if you're just starting out in the game, uh, if you're going this way, do not leave this grassy area, or you will be made fight Gary, or whoever you named your rival. It is not a pretty fight at this level. Run. I needed to switch Nidoran out front. No such thing as an experience share this game either. It's experience all, which splits the experience between six Pokemon. Not a good system. It really just, it is not worth the effort. Unless you have two Pokemon. Look another Nidoran, which is stronger! Nidoran, which is stronger! Alright, um, first off the shift attacks. Get it, Elizabeth! Go, 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 go! Yeah, I'm fucked. Oh, wait, faster? Oh, we must be at the same speed. Which means mine is better. I always advise catching Pokemon at the lowest level you can find them. That way, they have more chance to get better experience. Because their uh, capture Pokemon stats increase better than a wild Pokemon. It's an old thing I read in one of the walkthrough books I've got. But there's going to be some cutting up in this video. No! Well, I got it down nearly three quarters, so that's good enough for me. Poison Ivy! <laughs> and... Growl. Tackle it to shit. And... I think... I may start... I think I'll heal up. I'm gonna start training off screen though. I'll get Nidoran to maybe 5, 6, 7. One land once. Seems a little easier than training on screen, making you just watch it. Unless you want to, but for this time being, I'm going to level 7. Anyway, guys, it's been great getting back into this. Um, I hope you enjoyed Christmas. Anyway, um, this has been Andrew from the Media Hound Show. Thanks for tuning in. All our walkthroughs will start soon. See you on the flip side.